give it a nice massage. Got to look good, them spuds, I'll tell you. It's about time I got tucked in. Absolutely starving. Right guys, welcome back to another video. So as you've seen, I've just been in to the local supermarket. Well, it's not local to me, but someone's local supermarket. And I've picked myself up a bird. Not the sort of bird you thought I might have picked up, but um, one of our feathered variety. Minus the feathers, I hope. And uh, we're going to go down today and hopefully we're going to cook ourselves a roast dinner in the back of this van put this oven to the uh, to the test something I've been wanting to do for a long time I have cooked in the oven already but I've never actually cooked a roast dinner so that's what I'm going to attempt today so I thought I'd bring you along and uh, let's see how we get on so they sat there for saying 28 minutes so it ain't no longer than that because I'm starving and I really need to get this chicken cooked the sooner we get that on the better Let's cook this bird. Take the next left onto Rectory Lane. Mm. Oh. It's going to be one of these roads. We've made it down to this chapel. This is St. Peter's Chapel, but well, we're not actually at the chapel yet. Got the van parked up, put the pop top up, and I'm gonna set about starting the roast dinner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a go at spatchcocking this chicken. Never done anything like this before. I'm a little bird. There you come. So apparently what you have to do is turn it over and cut down the backbone. And that's that bit. You can keep that bit if you want to. Put it in your stock. To flatten it out, apparently what we've got to do is we need to make a little incision. Doctor, the cartilage here. 
Oh, she's a flatty now. Put a little bit of olive oil on it. Not too much. Give it a nice massage. <laughs> salt. Some pepper. And I'm going to put a little bit of thyme on this. And I did say a little bit. We're going to give that 45 minutes and then we'll have a look at it. So the bird's in the oven. Going to go for a wander around the church now, have a look at the coastline down there and uh, hopefully the bird's going to be cooking nicely while we're away and not set my van alight, more importantly. bit worried about me chicken at the moment so I've left it cooking in the oven I've got about 20 minutes on the timer before I have to uh, be back so I'm back in the van I was a little bit worried about leaving the oven on so I've come back I'm gonna have a quick coffee now and uh, a nice donut and uh, crack on with the rest of this dinner and later on I'm gonna go back down to the chapel and have a bit of an explore I think what we do now is we'll uh, finish the coffee, start prepping the veg. That is looking good. Right, okay. Let's have a go at doing these veggies. Chicken's going to take a little bit longer. And uh, I thought I'd get these done. More than enough carrot in there for me. Let's get our potatoes on. Birds out of the oven. I've just had a little dig into the breast meat there and uh, like thick part and it's definitely cooked right through. Now we're gonna have to wait for our veg.
potatoes are in. We're in about, I don't know, about 40 minutes, I suppose. And uh, we'll be good to go. We'll have a look in a while, see how them spuds are doing. That is really good, really impressed with this ridge monkey. Yeah, impressive bit of kit that. And we're getting very close here. Just got to get the Yorkshire puddings in. <laughs> Yorkshire puddings! And uh, make the gravy, strain the veg, plate up, and we can eat it. Good, them spuds, I tell ya. Yeah, they've come out nice. Crispy as you like. That's enough veg for now. Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> I'm going to have a leg. I'm also going to have a bit of the breast meat. And that skin. I've got to have the skin just to see what it's like. Can't believe how well that's turned out. I think it's about time I've got tucked in. Absolutely starving. I'm going to try these potatoes out. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, the carrots are just perfect. Mm. Yorkshire's are crunchy. Mm. Mm. The chicken's nice. Skin. Mm. Not bad. Oh. Definitely going to have some to take home anyway. And I'm sure my daughter's going to want to try the potatoes, if there's any left. Mm. And what a view. Looking out onto the Essex countryside. Because I'm still hoping to walk down to the church. Well, I should say walk back down to the church. Mm. Fell off the bone. Oh. Bit of a food coma now. Well, that's me done. I, think I might have to get my coat on, put my boots on, and uh, let's go and have a little look at this church before it gets too dark. Right, I'm just making my way back down to the church. Of course, I did go down there earlier. 
I made a hasty retreat because I thought the van might catch fire. But uh, I've had me roast dinner now. And I could do with a walk. Make a bit of room. We'll see how time goes. I've got a bit of dessert in the van. So I'm not sure if I'm actually going to cook the dessert. Well, it's not really cooking a dessert. I've got some banana cake and custard. So uh, we'll have a little wander down the church and have a look at the... Uh, which is the River Crouch down there. And, uh, and then we'll go back to the van. It's an absolute mess in there. And uh, maybe we'll uh, tidy up and have banana cake. Here's the church. In 653 AD, St. Said sailed down the east coast of England from Linda's farm and landed in Bradwell. Here he found the ruins of an old deserted Roman fort and he probably first built a wood, small wooden church. As there was so much stone from the fort, he soon realised that it would provide a much more permanent building so he replaced it next year with a chapel we see today. Anyway, that's the church. Let's have a wander around. Not sure what they are out there. I'll find out, I'll let you know. And uh, that's Bradwell Power Station over there. I think he's been recommissioned, it's a nuclear power station. Got the lunatics out there with a kayak. Two kayaks. Right, so I've had me walk guys, and uh, just making me way now back to the van. And uh, better have a bit of a tidy up. Trashed it actually. And uh, see if I've got room for this banana cake. Over washing up, I thought I'd just put the banana cake in there. Well, I wasn't going to do the banana cake and custard, but I thought it'd be rude not to and uh, finish off a perfect day, really. Big thanks to Lee's mum who made the banana cake. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely. Right guys, so thanks for watching. And uh, if you have enjoyed watching me cook the roast dinner in this camper van, then don't forget to give it the thumbs up. And um, hit that notification bell if you're subscribed. And uh, you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And that's all from me. So uh, see you on the next one.